How do you guys? It's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service. In this video, I'm going to show you bulk accessory painting, ground covering, and just these shortcuts that you need to do when you're working on this sort of level. Catch you in a bit. Right, so this video is number part four. Number four, part four. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is getting the ground covers down. It's painting up all the sandbags, the containers, the boxes, the barrels. Um, but it's only getting the base colours down because there's no point painting all the aquilas and doing all the weathering and aging and all that yet. Um, because at the end of the day, we're sticking it all down. Half and it might be hidden anyway. So there's no point wasting your time. Um, so this video is explaining and showing you why it's pointless doing it all before sticking it down all right um it just helps speed up the process to show you how quick literally this board is is coming together um i'm only i'm recording the hours i'm only in about 10 hours into the entire build um and we're coming close to the end now um with the detailing and everything that's going to be in the next video so adding grasses um weathering rust that sort of thing is going to add a good three, four, maybe five hours on because that's the painting all the titty fart stuff. Um, so that's the pain in the ass bit, really, uh, especially with the water effects and everything else that we're adding right at the end. But this to this level, it's only taken ten hours. It's the it's the detailing that takes the time. All right, guys. So this is what I've done. This is how I've got everything to. The level that you're going to see and the ground the ground covering is something to sit and properly watch because uh, it's quite different for a modeler i don't know many people that do it this way all right guys so sit back relax and uh, yeah i'll see you in a bit right so quick painting um this is the sandbags i'm going to hit them with a desert yellow from army painter for, uh, just to give them the main base color which is like a yellowy ochre color uh, and then we'll highlight them then with the bone colour. Uh, these are some sandbags that Wayne uh, sculpted for me and then I've just literally made a silicone mould and mass produced them uh, so I've got enough for this board. Um, the bone is just held from a bit further away and dusted so it highlights it uh, and we'll do this step on everything uh, that we're going to be using. Um, as you can see some quite nice details on them. Once they're washed and then we'll do the main detailing once they're stuck on the board, it's just so there's no point painting everyone to a good standard because uh, they're going to be stuck on top of each other and put all over the place so there's no point wasting time painting everything you know, to a good standard at this point. Uh, so dark red prime and then a, a highlight uh, with a, a lighter red from above. Same with the barrels, same with these boxes, dark angel green, highlight with an angel green. Don't bother painting the Aquilas, don't bother doing any rust effects, don't bother doing all like that because we're going to be stacking them on top of each other and placing them all over the board. What's the point of painting something if you're not going to be able to see it? Okay, so that's why we're just doing the basic bits now. What I'm doing here uh, with the water and the matte medium is making a wash. Uh, this is just to do a basic wash over everything. Alright, uh, it's just so you get some nice shading. Um, we will be adding more washes and everything on the ones that matter once they're stuck down. Uh, well, this is just so if there's any hard to reach areas or anything like that once they are stuck together, at least everything's got its base colours, highlight, and a wash over it. Okay, so it's just sapier ink, matte medium, and water. Try it on the side, make sure you're getting like a nice stainage on the side of the tub, and then let's just chuck everything in. Simple as that. Um, it's just a matter of chucking them all in, getting the wash all over them and sitting them out to dry. Um, if I had a bit longer uh, time wise I would use the Army Painted Dip Wash um, or just some wood stain just because it is a lot nicer than doing it this way. It's just doing it this way means it dries quicker. Uh, using the wood varnish or the uh, Army Painted Dip Wash means it takes a, bit, takes a good day to dry. Don't forget the barrels that we've already used, the damaged barrels on the board need painting the same way as the barrels that we've painted as well. The only thing you're going to have to do is paint them with a brush and then if you want you could dry brush them but with them buried under all that rubble I've just put the base colour on and not bothered highlighting them but we will bring them up with some rust effects and stuff later on. 
Now, if you're thinking, why have I got four hat hands? Um, it's because uh, Travis from Big Beard Painting came over to give me a hand on the board because we're going to be doing some back reps together. Um, so he came over just to give me a hand. Um, so if you don't know who he is, check him out. He's got a nice little channel. But yeah, all we're doing here is using super glue to stick down sandbags where we think they're going to look cool. Also, it's that, that big empty space in the middle of the table. Thinking of gameplay, just trying to make it so there's somewhere to hide, even in the open. Um, and it's going to be round the water effects as well, which is going to look pretty cool. So we'll be able to paint some a bit darker, like the wet. Um, so yeah, just keep placing them until you're happy. Um, they are going to look a bit crappy at the moment. Uh, because of the colour and it, it might look like you're, you're taking a step back every time you step back from the model you might be like well it's starting to look a bit piss poor it's just because things are not finished it'll all start coming together when you finish it off all right so yeah here's we're just sticking bits on and then uh, when we get to something different I'll talk to you again soon <laughs> boxes barrels Chuck them literally wherever you want. Again, think more gameplay than aesthetics with this. Um, if it were a Dio, they would be placed um, a bit more with some more thought. Uh, but I'm just trying to sort out line of sight blocking uh, and just so there's not big areas and corridors of big open space. I'm just trying to make it so it's a, a, a fun, playable board. Um, so that's why we're placing things in weird places. These are some containers from... Uh, Puppets of War, um, if you don't know who Puppets of War are, check them out. They sent me this with that ruined cathedral that I did a while back. Um, lovely containers, um, really nice slush moulded containers that don't weigh anything. They've got foam inside them and they've got some nice detail. Um, so I just thought I'd use them on this perfect opportunity to use them. Uh, and it saves me buying the GW ones. So yeah, that's why I'm using them. Just applying super glue, bit of activator and then sticking them together painted up exactly the same way as the boxes and barrels with the same colors same techniques right now this is where we are at the moment with all the debris and accessories everywhere next is coming up the ground covers and this is really the main reason um, for this video because the ground covers are the most exciting and most important part okay guys so first off you're going to need three different types the first one is uh, soil and ivory tile grout mixed um, so that's why you get that nice sort of pale sandy color okay if you want to make it a bit browny can have some brown tile grout or darker soil uh, the next one is sharp sand and ivory tile grout sharp sand's got some really nice rocks in uh, and it's a nice darkish sand so you get like a different contrast of color and the third one is literally this the gravel out the sharp sand just sieved um, and the reason I use them is because they're a nice color to the um, grouts um, so you don't have to paint them or mess around they just all work very well it's a very simple process is using this it's very much like flocking okay so first off I'm putting down some of my new uh, glue that will be coming out this is a super fast drying basing glue um, it's very much like PVA but it dries in about 15 minutes um, it's unreal so make sure if you're using this stuff you don't try and do a big 6x4 in one go because it won't work um, it's nice for working in smaller areas um, and it's good if you're doing your bases on your miniatures which will be coming out probably in a week or so Right, so first off, go on to your um, tile grout and soil mixture. This is the finest one, okay? And it's your brightest one to remember as well. Um, so the colour that it is now is roughly the colour it will be when it dries. You will get some discrepancy in colour, whether there's more water taken on board because of the depth or the amount of that's there, which is another reason why I like liking it because it, it sort of shades itself. Um, best thing about tile grout as well is it sets like it rock hard all right you're not gonna be able to knock this off with an hammer um, but any areas like this where you know we've stuck the things down you can bury it in you can pile it up against side something and when we spray this with waters and glues it will harden and take shape you don't have to actually get the sculptor mold back out and mess around okay so it's really good for hiding edges um, of things that you've stuck down you see um, you can pat it down while it's dry 
um, and move it around put, just do what you want with it really it's, it's great stuff all right but what I'm doing is now I've bumped it around and got it up the side of the boxes I'm just placing more stuff around it so it gets rid of my fingerprints and things now any excess that you don't want just dust off your boxes and barrels any of that really really fine dust if you can't get rid of it just literally wet your brush a slightly bit and it'll it'll come straight off um, next up is using the um, sharp sand and uh, tile grab mixture and I'm putting that mainly in where all the water is going to be because it, it does dry darker because it's sand and when sand's wet it becomes like a, a really like sort of dark brown uh, and use that to put in the lower areas of the of the fine stuff as well um, which I've missed in this shot but what I'm doing is where that stuff is I'm actually putting some gravel um, which is just the sharp sand gravel and then what I'll do once I put the sharp sand gravel down is I go back to the grout and um, gravel mixture uh, which is that one uh, and then I just blend over the top so it's it, it carries and blends it all together you see so it's just like flocking with all your different greens um, it's the same principle now all I'm doing here is I'm just spraying it with the uh, water down house our propanol and then I hit it down with the uh, watered down glue um, and that way when it dries it dries rock hard if, at this stage if you're wanting to put any sort of uh, like sand and recess sands you know it's blown up against the side of the uh, container literally just spray it with water um, and then dip your brush in the grout and sand mix and just yeah rub it up the wall um, and that way you get some weathering with the ground that you're using so it's the same color and everything else the fine dustings and everything we will cover in the next video but once you've got it all out this is wet so it is rather dry uh, dark at the moment uh, but when that dries it'll be a nice pale um, sand with shading and everything else okay um, but very quick very simple to do the fact you don't have to paint it makes it you know one of the best things that I've ever come across and with it being tile grout it's like a concrete it sets rock solid now just before finishing up what I'm gonna do is that it's, it's slightly it's dried a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm spraying it down with more water down PVA glue now I'm doing this just to make sure that I've not missed anything or it, it'll just tie it all together uh, but just spray it all over it proper locks it down proper gets it wet and any sort of glue that's on top of your models or all like that you don't need there just dab it off right so what do you think pretty simple in it if you've got the tile grout and the uh, soil and sharp sand which is all pretty cheap stuff all right guys um the next video is going to be showing you the water effects in the divots where the pipes are you might even do some um like water spraying out the pipe work uh, we're going to be doing rust effects in all the boxes and barrels, uh, painting all the aquirellas, the rebar. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, dust effects up the sides of the buildings. At the moment, it looks like we've taken a step back. I mean, it looks pretty basic and pretty looks pretty shit at the minute. Um, don't worry. When you're working like this, sometimes it feels like you've gone ahead of yourself and then you've taken a step back. It's not that you've made a mistake, it's just the fact that there's things that are catching your eye and making everything else look crap. And what that is, is it's the fact that the boxes, barrels, the containers, everything's just got a couple of colours and a wash on it. Don't worry at this stage, we're going to blend that all in, we're going to be weathering it, we're going to be rusting it up, damaging it, we're going to be doing all sorts of bits in the next video. And especially when all that water affects in it means there's going to be some darker patches of uh, the sand as well um, so it's not going to be all one color there's a lot of stuff going off that you, you don't see yet so it does look a bit poor at the moment but it's it's all part of the step okay um, so that's all to come in the next video if you're liking these videos though guys like share subscribe as always if you want to support the channel check my links below I've got a, a massive scenic selection from static grasses flocks ballast sands just whatever you need should be below and it's never growing range and there's all sorts of stuff coming out in the near future um as well uh, with the kill team and me getting into it there's going to be battle reports coming uh, we're also going to be working on um modular 
terrain. A friend of mine has given me the uh, starter set terrain to paint up. So I'm going to show you how to paint and base it to have all the rubble effects to look like that. Um, but you can place it on any board and it'll blend in and it'll look like it's got loads of rubble and stuff around it and look awesome rather than just ruins with no rubble, which doesn't make sense. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, any questions, bang with links below. And I'll catch you again for number five. See you in a bit.